Right, right guys, that's my Jag. Okay, so 350 Chev, 671 blower. Okay, um, and Jags come out standard with power steering. So, as any of you guys know that have tried to run a blower on a small block Chev, you need additional pulleys to run air conditioning and all the rest of the stuff. To get away from running, okay, a power steering pump up on the motor, which makes for a cleaner engine bay, but it also stops from a high revving motor, like a drift car or something like that, throwing belts, okay, you can run an electric power steering pump. And how you do that is one of these Holden Astras, all right? I'll show you what they look like now. Okay, so the model Astra that these pumps come off is this one, okay? So late 90s, Holden Astra, nothing special. Autos and manuals run the same pump. Okay, so that's what they look like. And you'll see the pump is right there. Okay, so it just sits down down there. Fairly easy to get out. Um, yeah, so they're nothing, nothing special. It's just, yeah, one of those things that you find along the way that work really well. Yeah. Okay, and those pumps out of the car look like this. Okay, so that's the pump there. Okay, it is just a very basic pump. Okay, your fluid goes in the top, just like that. You've got your little indicator. Okay, reasonable sort of size thing with a little um, filter there. Okay, you've got normal power steering line. See that there? That's where your power steering line goes in. Okay, so what you do is just get a line made up. So your existing car will have power steering lines, okay, to take this one out and take your line and get a measurement for what you need to your hydraulic local hydraulic place and they'll make up a line to go with that fitting okay to your rack okay so and there it is there see it comes down and then back up and that's the line there we just chop them off there so they can either use that bit there to make it out of or they can braze a hard line piece on okay so it's that simple basically and then for your power you have battery negative is the brown one, battery power is the red one, and ignition power are those two. The blue one's actually for ECU and speed sensitive, but don't worry about that. So just plug those two together, okay? And they go to your ignition power or to a switch, okay? And you've got a black one there, don't worry about that one. Um, the pumps come, we supply them when we sell them with these brackets, okay? And it's that simple. Well, that's, that's all it looks like. It's just, that's the pump. It is very simple. Okay, now, in the car, I've mounted mine in there. See, that pump there is slightly different. It's just got a square top on it, but that just happened to be the one I had at the time. It's out of slightly later model one. The, that one, uh, that pump there is actually better because it's lower. See how mine's up a bit higher? So I've actually got to use a little pump to get um, fluid into that one. But it's just the same. I haven't finished this off yet, but it works. Okay, the bracket, I haven't even cut that. All I've done is welded a little tab over there to support it. Okay, and you can see that the line there has just been brazed on with another piece. Okay, yep. And then the line just runs up through there and down to my steering rack. It, it works really well. Like I've had no issues with it at all. It just, it works. And then when you have a car like this, you sort of, you do push them around a little bit, which is a pain, but it is just how it goes. Right, eh? in the car, the way I've got mine hooked up, and you can just do it directly to ignition power, okay? But what I've done is, with the switches here that we've got for fans, water pump, okay? I've got that one there. I've done it red because the fluid that goes into it is red, okay? And then basically once that's on, okay, so basically once that's on, you just, it's that easy. Look at, it's, it's very, very, that's one hand and it turns. Okay, you can hear the pump going. Okay, and that's really, really good. Okay, so if I switch that off and I try and turn that, like I can't move that at all now, that's, that's rock solid. Back on with me little switch. And we know it's the red one for the, um, thing. You know, it sometimes can take a little second to build pressure, but once the pressure's up there, See, I can hear the pump starting. And there we go. And you can turn it. That's got some pretty big tyres on the front of it too. I think it's got 225s or something like that. 
that's one hand. While you're driving it, like it's it's quite good. Like it's yeah, it's just like a normal car. It's, it's don't have any issues. So I hope that's helpful, guys. So what you'd use that electric power steering for is a car that revs a lot. If you've got something that throw, throws belts or WRXs, they leak fluid all the time and they do front seals and it leaks into the alternators and just destroy stuff. Put an electric one on it and delete the pump altogether. So something to think about. So yeah, electric power steering pumps. We do sell them here at King of Toe Parts. Okay, I'll put a link down below for the parts page. Um, yeah, check it out, have a look, ask some questions. Um, we're more than happy to help, so yeah. All right, like, subscribe, see you.